first got to the discretion because this she got um, actually more than just a temper and Hi hey guys, um, I just want to give it a second to make sure that this is clear and you can hear me. I'm going live um, from the back of the animal hospital here at BCA Imperial Point. So uh, Amy went live earlier to show you the two dogs that we pulled from Miami-Dade Animal Services. Um, this is Toby. Toby is the one that I was picking up from the groomer when Amy was just live with Rico. Uh, when I got to Michael, he notified me that um, Toby had vomited um, at least six times there um, while he was there. He's, his breathing is a little off. Um, so I called Amy and um, we rushed him over here to Dr. Clark. Um, Dr. Clark um, said his abdomen is painful. Um, he vomited three more times once I got here, including once on me in the car. Um, plus three times before. Plus three times the at the rescue house prior to going to the groomer. So um, we are working on him right now. He's going in for x-rays. Um, he also has a peri, um, hernia, perianal hernia, um, perianal, yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's gonna make you feel better. It's okay. It's okay. That was um, serenia for nausea to help stop the vomiting because he is continuing um, to vomit. Um, he's going to get subclean fluids and we're going to do x-rays to see what else is going on in his abdomen because his abdomen is very tense and painful. Um, the serenia stings when it goes in, unfortunately. It makes them feel better, but it stings when it goes in. Um, and then, of course, you guys saw Amy was live with Rico when we noticed this abscess on his foot that we are having looked at and his, um, I don't know if I'll be able to get that, from his neuter surgery that basically is necrotic dead tissue um, that will fall, it'll fall off. Yes, it's already falling off. All right, it's going to fall off, but that's just from... Either it reopened after surgery and just was left untreated or just wasn't done properly. So the tissue died and uh, now it's going to fall off and we have to treat his little paw as well. We're going to do subfood fluids on him and get an x-ray to find out what's going on with him. So I'm asking you all to please donate. We never know what we're going to get when we pull these dogs from Miami-Dade. You know, we, we're expecting that, you know, they might be in bad shape, they might be dirty, they might be old, they might have eye issues. But to have two dogs that we had to rush to the vet's office for medical issues was not something that we were planning on doing when we saved these lives today. So um, the donation link is on this post. You can also call in a donation directly to the hospital. The number is 954-771-0156. See, his breathing is just a little off. And the continual vomiting, something's just not right. So, um, please guys donate. As I said, the PayPal link is on the top of this post. Um, you can also call in a donation directly to the hospital, 954-771-0156. You can mail in a donation if you would prefer. 
um, to write a check to 100 Plus Animal Rescue, Inc. and mail it to 345 East Commercial Boulevard, Oakland Park, Florida, 33334. But we are going to ensure that these two babies that we just pulled to safety today are going to get the best care possible and to figure out what exactly is going on with them. Um, but I wanted to jump on and, and update you guys because it's not just about pulling a dog from the shelter and finding it at home sometimes. There is unexpected costs and unexpected issues that arise, and um, this is one of those days. They're not in the shelter, so they are safe with us, which is a much better outcome. But it's not just pull a cute dog from a shelter and find it a home. So this is going to cost our rescue money. For little Toby. Hi. And little Rico, whose poor leg. We took it. You took it. And his poor bad neuter what? surgery. Hi, hey buddy. It's okay. So he's getting subclue fluids now, um, and then we're going to go in for x ray. Hi, are you giving me kisses? Hi, buddy. That probably was a soap burn. A what burn? From the scrub, from the, because they do their their neuter. That neuter is done pre scrotally. So sometimes if they well, we don't get, I mean it happens to everybody, but um, you don't get all the soap off, all the scrub off, mm -hmm. depending on how they who scrubbed it. The scrotum is particularly sensitive to. Um, so you're talking about the where yeah. the yeah. tissue died? Because yeah, it's it's a skull that's on the scrotum, but the surgery is in front. Actually, the surgery side doesn't look too bad. I don't think it happens as much as we used to because we changed the way we, that, for the most part, mm -hmm. the industry holds onto its scrub. There you go. I'll try to get you late. What do you think? Somebody, Sorry. If somebody go. has um, chlorhexidine or a beta 9 sensitivity and they scrub you, you're going to wake up with a rash. Mm. Just like my Aww. wife can't take um, certain tapes on the body. Mm. Tell her, you know, after a C-section, you can't do that. Yeah, my husband had that. He got surgery here, and he put tape. Hey, buddy. Okay. Um, X-rays? Yeah, I think we should. Yeah. I mean, if we're thinking that he had a heart issue mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. Give me the... Yes, I'm Did you look at his no. leg under the microscope yet? I'm going to do it when they start. Okay. 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 So. I just want to get his medicine get him. so he feels better. I'm still going to put some. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's missing is some gamma pentum. But we can do that after the next one. What was the med you just gave him orally? I gave him some metronidazole, some penicillin, some serenia, and some famotidine. Okay. So that should stop so his vomiting. So he got famotidine, he got serenia, he got penicillin, so he should start feeling better and stop vomiting. They're going to do the x-ray now. He got sub-Q fluids because he was dehydrated. And Dr. Clark is going to look at is it a sample he took from his leg under the slide while they're doing the x-ray to find out what exactly is going on with his leg. So again, guys, please donate. Pulling dogs from the shelter is not always just a quick, easy thing. Sometimes it comes with complications, and this is a perfect example of it. We pulled two dogs today thinking we were just going to find them great new loving homes, and they were only with us for a couple of hours before we had to rush both of them to the vet um, for different issues. So um, once again, the PayPal link is located at the top of this video. 
You can also call in your donation directly to the animal hospital if you prefer. The number is 954-771-0156. Just call it in and say it is for um, either Rico or Toby or just 100 plus. And if you want to mail a check as a donation, you can do that as well. Make the check out to 100 plus Animal Rescue and mail it to 345 East Commercial Boulevard, Oakland Park, Florida, 33334. Hi, buddy. It's hard sometimes people just don't realize what goes into saving a life. Even though they're coming from the shelter and he's neutered and he had his shots, it doesn't mean that it's just an easy save. A lot of times they come with other issues and some more serious than others. So Dr. Clark is going to look at the slides of Rico's leg to see what we are dealing with there. <laughs> is this your baby? Yeah. How's her temp? It's now at 1029, but it, it went Yay! back up this morning, but let's see how she does. Can I take a picture of her because Steve was asking to see her? I can always send you really cute pictures of her. I'm going to send you the really cute one. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm to get out of the way. Yes. <laughs> Are we sweet? Yes. Hi, baby. Mm -hmm. Hi. I know your e-collar. Where'd you get this? Uh, one, of our one of our supporters sent in. Singapore. She keeps sending us things like that. She's yeah. like a lion. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. That was <laughs> so cute. Even though I keep cute. sending you like a turkey. Depends on which way you look at it, I guess. Oh, you're so cute. I'm sorry, Jane. <laughs> Sorry guys, I know I'm being quiet, but there's not really anything going on at the moment um, while we wait for them to do the x-ray on Toby and um, Dr. Clark is looking at the slides of Rico's leg um, to decide the next course of treatment for him. Hi. The poor leg. Your poor little leg. Oh, you're giving me kisses while I'm looking at your leg. Thank you. Thank you, sweet boy. Terrible. No, he is very alert. He is watching everything that is going on, everybody that walks by. He's checking everything out. what exactly I'm looking at, but Toby's in there getting his x-ray done. Just something popped yeah. up. Got brought from Miami-Dade. It was in there and then disappeared. Yeah, he must have licked and licked. His x-ray looks a little funky. Does it? Yeah. I don't know what I'm looking at, but... See it like down the middle area? Yeah. Like usually if it's gas or stuff, it, it does like one yeah. of those snake patterns. That's. But I'm not a doctor and I don't no, know how to no, read x rays, so. There's a lot of dark in it, too. Mm -hmm. Hi, buddy. Uh, can I recap? Yes. Um, I am here at Imperial Point Animal Hospital with Rico, who we just pulled from Miami-Dade Animal Services today. He has this massive wound on his leg. 
Um, Dr. Clark is currently looking at um, a sample under the microscope to see what it is. He also has this injury to his scrotum from um, the neuter surgery. It is necrotic tissue. It will fall off. Um, so I don't think we're going to do much about that except to make sure that we keep him from it. Um, we're going to find out what we're going to do about the leg once Dr. Clark has had a chance to examine the slides and see what we're dealing with. Um, Toby was another dog that we pulled from Miami-Dade Animal Service today, a little poodle who I went to go pick up from the groomer um, just a little bit ago. And the groomer, Michael, told me that he had vomited like six times while he was there. I called Amy right away. Amy said that he had vomited three times at the rescue house prior to going to the groomer. Um, and then he threw up on me in the car, and then he threw up three times when we got here to the hospital. Um, so he is not feeling well. So um, he is actually back there in the x-ray room where I was just looking, um, getting x-rays on his abdomen. He got sub-Q fluids. He got um, an injection of Serenia, which is an anti-nausea medication. He got Flamotidine, which is an anti-acid um, medication. He got penicillin, um, and he was also going to give him gabapentin um, for pain, which we haven't done yet, but he is getting x-rays to find out what's going on in his abdomen because upon a physical a examination, uh, he said he was painful um, and very tense, so he wanted to take an x-ray um, to find out what was going on in there. Um, so... Again, you guys, when we pull dogs from the shelter, a lot of times people think it's just an easy pull. We pull them, we love on them, and we find them homes, and a lot of times that's not the case. This is a perfect example of it not being the case. Um, two dogs that we just pulled today, within hours, had to be rushed to the animal hospital um, for different injuries and illnesses, um, and it's costly. And we need you guys' help to be able to do these treatments and to make sure that these dogs are getting the best possible care and getting everything that they need um, to get better and feel better before we are able to find them loving forever homes. Um, the PayPal link is located at the top of this video. You can also call in a donation directly to the animal hospital if you prefer. The number is 954 771 zero one five six um, you can also mail a check if you'd prefer to do that you can make the check out to 100 plus animal rescue inc and mail it to 345 east commercial boulevard oakland park florida 33334 this poor boy his little paws so sore and old toby is still back here being x-rayed Hopefully with the medications he will stop vomiting. I don't see anything abnormal there. I'm coming. Okay. So now we're going to look at the x-rays. Oh. Hey, Tiffany. Yes, I'm here. It looks wonky, right? So did they sell you a dog that had chewed something up? Does he have an obstruction? It's in his stomach. I mean, it's not life-threatening. Like, we have to go to surgery now, but... Nothing has to come out of there. Probably. I mean, it's... Well, he's vomiting non-stop. That's... Yeah, well, we can stop that medically, but that, at some point, that's got to come out. I mean, if it was in his small intestine, we'd be going to surgery right now. So in his stomach, no food. Um, it moves, so it's not stuck. Say it's a little piece of bone or something. I mean, even if he got that out of his stomach, he could probably pass it. But, but it's, isn't it sharp? Like little... Yeah, but that's, they can, if, they can, if that was a... Uh, 
straight pin, yeah. he'd poop it out. Yeah. And that's what that's what's going on. He's eating something, whether it's a piece of cartilage yeah. with a little piece of bone attached to it. That right there would pass through his, his gut. But whatever it is, the rest of that, if you can't get that out, you know. So what I would do, what we I would no, do. We have no idea when he ate that or how long it's been in there either. No. So that's what I was, you know, that was one. <clears throat> the reason I'm asking why he was coming, if he could come back, is. Take um, an x-ray tomorrow and see if it's moved. Take an x-ray see where, <coughs> I'm sorry, see where it is. It's okay, don't you? It's perfect. Okay. The X-ray is perfect. Mm -hmm. So that's the only that's the only issue you see on there. Yeah, the rest of his small intestine's fine. Um, he's got gas in his colon, but what happens is when this thing is sitting down here in this part of the stomach, it acts yes. like a flapper on your toilet. If it's sitting in there, mm -hmm. which it's not right now, but if it gets in there and the stomach contracts, he's going to vomit. So I gave him an antacid and some mm -hmm. serenia. We'll give him some gabapentin just to take some of the anxiety away <coughs> and, and a lot of the discomfort. I was thinking he's going to have pancreatitis until I saw this. But so you don't see that? Uh, well, I don't. He's not a lot of body fat on, but the, ordinarily where you see it is right here. Uh, and and you would clean. see you would see any of that on blood work too, right? Yeah, but that'll be back in the Tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. So, no, no food, no water. No water. Him, no, because I gave him fluids. Okay. So I really want him NPO. No water, no food. Nothing. Okay. If you can keep him NPO at the house, then he can go home. Bring him back in the morning. Yeah, we just pick everything up. Yep. And then just bring him back in the morning, take another x-ray and see if it's moved. See where it's gone. If it hasn't moved. We'll go get it. <sighs> okay, guys. He well, might, He might pass it. There you Hell, go. he might throw it up. You know well, what? he's been throwing up nonstop. But I'm just saying, I mean, I just shut, hopefully just shut that all down because yeah. I don't want him to throw right. it up and aspirate. Right. So I'd like this, him to just get over that part. Okay. This is because a young dog gets a histiocytoma that can come up out of nowhere. Um, this looks all like inflammation. Why he chewed the crap out of his leg, I don't know. But I don't see any abnormal cells there. It's, a, okay. it's superficially in infected it's very inflamed so probably gonna give him some convenia and okay. send you home because this happened like within like half an hour like as no. soon as he got to the house yeah yeah yeah, yeah no uh, it's the picture uh, that zoe took i believe you i oh, totally okay. believe you yeah so either he That's came weird. in contact with something that, that pissed it off and he did this all of this with his mouth mm -hmm. or there was another process happening there regardless we've got to take the inflammation away yeah. and, mm -hmm. and keep it from getting any more infected than yeah. it is Convenient yeah. and what that white powder that we use I'm on probably Susie? I'm probably going to send you, yeah. Do you have it at the house? No, Susie has it. All right, then I'll send you with some ointment. Because I think the ointment's actually going to do better. <sighs> Let me get her his uh, okay, yeah. thing. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Gotcha. Okay, guys, so there you have it if you heard Dr. Clark. Toby ate something he wasn't supposed to. Um, that's causing the vomiting. He is not going to get any more food or water this evening. He did get fluid, so we, there's no worry about dehydration or anything like that. But he does not want him um, vomiting the rest of the night. And tomorrow morning we will come back and do another x-ray to see if it is moved. We have no idea how long it's been in there because we just pulled him from the shelter today. Uh, if it has not moved, unfortunately, we may have to go to surgery to remove the obstruction. So again, oh, and, and he has a peri, peri peri hernia. perineal hernia as well. So we may just, is this that is, is that not causing? It's not. But if you but if you don't do something about it, it becomes a problem. If you don't do something about it, it becomes life threatening. But it's it's um it's not something you know if it had to wait till Friday or some crazy thing like that, it's not that big a deal. As long as he's peeing yeah. and he's okay. defecating. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so I am going to um, get. He needs a gabapentin, right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to get the meds together. 
Um, we're going to get the two of them back to the rescue house. I will jump on later um, after I get everybody settled and out and given dinner and do all that because um, I will be at the rescue house for the rest of the night because Amy was there all day. Um, and I will jump back on and recap kind of everything that has happened just now with the two of them. But please, guys, donate to their care. Um, we may be looking at a surgery in our future. Um, so the PayPal link is listed. You can call in a donation directly to the animal hospital, 954-771-0156. Or you can mail a check to 100 Plus Animal Rescue, Inc., 345 East Commercial Boulevard, Oakland Park, Florida, 33334. Please help us help Toby and Rico. This is Tiffany with Jesse. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Please help us help Rico and Toby.